Hello, good day everyone. Well, it's the beginning of April and Holy Week is just a few days after this devotional. Starting with Palm Sunday, Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. As followers of Christ, we approach this week with a sense and mixture of strong emotions as we read and follow the gospel stories and their description of Jesus fulfilling his Father's will and sacrificing himself for our sins, following with his glorious resurrection, and he defeats death. The focus of today's devotional is on Christ's attitude of love for his Father, his submission to the Father's will, obeying him to the point of death, even death on a criminal's cross. Let's read how Paul describes Jesus' powerful love and obedience in Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 through 8 who being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing, the likeness of the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by, became, by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Through our Lord Jesus, his obedience to his Father, our Heavenly Father, and Jesus' love for us, he has given us the gift of salvation, of intimate relationship with the Father as his son and daughters, and of eternal life with him. During this Holy Week of 2022, let's take time to remember Christ's obedience and his love, thanking and praising him all the while, glorifying our Heavenly Father. I encourage you to consider the example of obedience, humbleness, and love Jesus has given us through his life and his sacrifice for us. He willingly followed his father, father by the Father sending him to earth to fully open us for a full, complete, and everlasting relationship with God. I'll close with Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. I heard the voice, voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me. As followers of Christ, we can do no less. Listen for the Holy Spirit's call to you. God's will to send you as an ambassador of his son, Jesus Christ, into our world, sharing the good news of Jesus in our words and in our deeds. Thank you for listening. God bless you, your family, and your communities.